Joe is here. It is Thursday. That means oh. it's time for a visit from Sherry Yay. Park from Fork in the Road. And of course, Valentine's Day coming up just a couple of weekends away. And a lot of people thinking about the heart-shaped boxes. We saw one just the other day here Sweet. on the show. A lot of people thinking about treats. But what if, Sherry, your doctor says, uh, 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 not so fast. You got to back off the sugar a little bit. But what if it's even worse? What if you can't eat? those chocolates. Right. Well, it, let's face it, we're a sugar addicted society. So even if you if your doctor didn't tell you you couldn't eat it and even if you re, if you have if you're not diabetic, you really need to be thoughtful about how much sugar and we started eating sugar on Halloween. And we continue Thanksgiving and Christmas. So Valentine's Day, you're saying, is, is like Halloween, only colder. Exactly. Okay, got it. Okay. Right. It's, a, it's okay. a crescendo of the winter uh, sugar season. So what I want to do is talk today about some alternatives to sugar. Because, you know, I'm always talking about and always preaching, let's use the whole foods, let's not right. buy refined things. And so I do a lot of sweetening with dates, and I use honey, and I use maple syrup. But those things all contain a lot of sugar. So they calories. Calories, yes, density. Right. They, they spike your blood sugar. That it's a high glucose, glucose uh, level. And so what I wanted to do today was talk about alternatives to that. And alternatives, most of the time when people hear that, they start thinking of things like Splenda and NutraSweet and those fake sugar sweeteners, which I do not espouse at all. Those are all chemicals. Those are bad, Jason knows he's yeah, shaking his head no it's the they're really evil but there are some more natural types of things and sweeteners that are really good I brought for you today in the little bowl with a and I brought you a little spoon so you could just give it a taste that's a sweetener okay and this one that's um, that one is called, it's a monk fruit. It's also called Lakanto. Monk fruit? Monk kind of fruit. Kind of like a brown sugar. And That's what I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, crazy. That's pretty good. And it's a fruit-based sweetener. Um, the glycemic level that on it like is pressure. zero. So it's really, so you are a sweet alcoholic, aren't you? You just ate that Did you just thing. shoot that? Yes. Like a it has kind of a, almost a maple. Yeah, Good. yeah. You know, it reminds you of maple. It does. It had, or maple molasses. molasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And wow. they have a, this is the um, golden color. There's also a white color too. I really like it. It's not ridiculously sweet, like some artificial sweetener types of things. And I feel funny even calling it artificial sweetener because it's very natural. It's mm -hmm. made out of fruit, zero calories. Zero really? calories? Zero really? calories, yeah. So, which is amazing because usually a zero calorie thing scares me because I think chemicals. Yeah, there's something else involved. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and this, it's not an inexpensive sweetener. Um, I, I, I want to say I spent maybe $8. It was probably on sale on this one. Wow. Um, so, it's not inexpensive. But you, then again, it's a sweetener. We're not supposed to be dumping it on things. Well, are we talking baking with this or just like if I want to sweeten my coffee up a little bit? You can do both. It's a straight, you could use it um, in baking is a straight across the board replacement for so sugar. Just, the ratio the same? Yes, exactly. Okay. So that's an alternative. Okay. Um, that's good. I put it sometimes if I want, if I'm having something like a, um, a coffee that I want to sweeten, I'll use it for that. So I like it. It's really good. Uh, another sweetener I brought today, this one is erythrol, um, or I'm sorry, this one's xylitol. Erythrol is another one that's very similar. We've heard of xylitol. Xylitol. And gum. Yes, mm -hmm. and xylitol, part of the reason they put xylitol in gum is it's supposed to be good for cavities. Right. And mm. so, and, but, and I'm less concerned about that and more concerned, once again, about keeping our blood sugars pretty right. level. So this is another one, very low in calories. It looks a lot like sugar. It's a, it's whiter um, than the, the I know golden you can get color. it in a container like that. Mm -hmm. I really like it like that because it, ke it really keeps it from getting clumpy and it's easy to store. Once again, these are not inexpensive sweeteners, but I made you something with it. And I made you a little coconut cookie. Jason's looking coconut skeptical. Yes. No, no. That's so it's a little soft. It's a little soft. I dehydrated it. The only sweetener that I used is the xylitol. Mm. And then the other ingredients are obviously coconut, which surprisingly to me is low in sugar. I, you would think coconut would be high in sugar. Mm -hmm. It's not. So what's the difference between a monk fruit and the xylitol? Is there one that's um, better than the other? Just what they're based other? out of. This one, I think that I think that it, this comes from birch trees is the original huh. source oh, of it. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, it, they're, they're plant-based. That's the important thing to me is that it be a plant-based right. sweetener, mm -hmm. not something manufactured or made in a chemical okay. or plant. So I like this. I, it's, a, it's a sweet cookie. It's mm -hmm. definitely not. Like a macaroon. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. So so I really I like it. It's, it's um, easy to work with the other base you should know of the cookie because you know me I always sneak in things into your food zucchini 
really? <laughs> yeah, it's a really? zucchini, coconut. You sneaky little. I, I'm a so really? and so, aren't I? Can't I? taste that at all. Yep, yep. And you probably can't because I also put some almond extract in there. Mm. So it's a, it's a cool little cookie. It's easy to make. You put them in the dehydrator and they're done. Let's talk about one other sweetener, and that would be um, stevia. Now, that. stevia I've brought on the show before, um, and I put some in some milk for you today. Now, we I've made you walnut milk before, and I've made walnut milk again. Okay. Last time I made it, I sweetened it with maple syrup, because maple right. walnut is such a nice flavor combination. Combo. Today, I used cinnamon-flavored stevia, and then I put a little sprinkle oh. of cinnamon on the top to give you that little bit of a taste. The reason I did that is because stevia, to people who are not used to it, has a tiny bit of an aftertaste. Yeah, you might be picking up on that. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not the same as maple syrup. I'm not going to pretend that it no, is. A little bit, yeah. It's. It's got a, a nice. A metallic, almost. Yeah, like. there's a little bit mm -hmm. of an aftertaste to it. What I suggest you do is, I'm used to that now, so I can drink it and it's okay. But to get to that point, start backing off. If you're sweetening your, like if you're making a nut milk, if you're making this and you made my old recipe with maple syrup, mm -hmm. start replacing a little bit of the maple syrup with the stevia. So you're kind of just doing a little bit of this. Same okay. concept as tapering off of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. You're backing off a little bit on the sugar and that's an important thing to do. No matter how we do it, it's a great idea to get rid of some of the sugar in our diets. I All use right. stevia every day and I like it. I mean, it's fine, no calories and it's great. I no, no issues. Is there a brand? Is your brand one of the two brands that I have here? No, I've, I've, I, I've purchased yours before, and they're, they're fine. I just kind of get what's around. Now there are some that aren't all natural. Right. It's a problem with stevia, right? Yes, right. That's true. Oh. And, and for example, Truvia is not one that I would recommend. It's not. No. I was just going to ask the one that starts with the T. Okay. Yes. Yep. It's got a, a, additional ingredients, and in it is not a whole. It's not a natural. I don't. Anything you can advertise on national TV, I really don't know that I would espouse. Check there it might out. be you something check in it check it out. Now you yeah. mentioned the cookies. It's an easy recipe. You mentioned yep. uh, making the milk. Is there a place somebody can go to find out about this, about how they can learn how to do this kind of Absolutely. stuff? Absolutely. Always visit my website at fork-road.com. Always feel free to call me at 515-249-2992. I love to answer your questions, especially when it comes to something like food. Mm -hmm. Right. Perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you, dear. Yeah, Appreciate you're welcome. It. We're going to finish all these cookies, and yeah. we'll be back in just a couple minutes. This Cheers. is a great day live on KCW.